How's it going everyone? So this video, we are experimenting with uh, sous viding a two New York strip steak USDA prime, uh, very well marbled and uh, I've already uh, pre-seasoned it and uh, put it in the, um, the vacuum bag. So we are just gonna experiment with a medium rare cook, which I'm gonna actually set the temperature to 129.5 degrees and we're gonna cook it medium rare again for two hours. Okay, so let's actually get it started. Uh, set for two hours. Okay. And all I'm gonna do is just pretty much drop the seasoned steak in there. And uh, um, after it's seasoned for two hours, we're gonna take it out and uh, we're gonna sear it. And then the steak is pretty much ready to go. Okay, so see you guys in about two hours time probably more than two hours because um, the water has to reach the temperature of 129.5 and then it's gonna cook for two hours straight okay so see you in a little bit all right so I uh, cooked about uh, one hour and a half uh, 90 minutes at uh, 129.5 degrees Fahrenheit this is what it looks like after being taken out of the water and resting for about uh, 20 minutes now. So the next step, I'm gonna cut it up and it's kinda lukewarm now. So cut it up, we're gonna heat up the grill and we're gonna just uh, sear it one minute on each side really quick and then serve it. So I um, took the steak out of the bag and I kinda just uh, um, got rid of all the, um, the initial cooking uh, herbs away and uh, cut up the excessive fat on the side. By the way, at this point, I cut a small piece. It was super, super tender already. So we're just waiting to um, let it fully rest and then put it on the grill, grill it for one minute or seal it for one minute each side and then let it rest for five minutes. And the steak should be um, ready to eat. And this is um, looking really, really good. All right, so before we're gonna put that uh, right into the, the grill, grilling pan, just uh, salt and pepper for us because the steak is already pre-seasoned with so much herbs. At this point, we are just giving it a final touch before it goes to the, uh, the searing pan, okay? Both sides. Okay, now let's go to the pan. For the searing, I'm using uh, some rendered beef fat and just butter. Get it coated really nicely. And uh, the pan, again, is already like super, super hot. Let's see. So uh, 400, uh, 460 degrees already. Let's put everything in there. And some smoke would be uh, expected, okay? Because it's already, over the melting point. One minute each side. No, probably not. All right, so we're gonna flip it after about a little more than a minute. And uh, once both sides are seared, it's pretty much done, okay? All right, about a minute. I'm just gonna check the other. Yep, looks pretty, it's pretty, pretty nicely seared. So I am gonna flip the steak. Let's see. Beautiful. Alright, so uh, another minute and then we are done. Alright, and of course the last uh, bit, we're just gonna sear the fat a little more and then take it out of the, uh, out on the plate, okay? About 30 seconds. So we took the steak out on the plate and uh, at this point, resting for about five minutes, it's ready to serve and uh, I'm leaving those uh, extra fat in the pan to continue, you know, render just a little more. And uh, those fats are delicious. 
by the way. Yeah, just uh, get it nice and crispy. Then you'll have a really nice uh, steak dinner. All right, guys. So the sous vide New York strip steak is all done. Um, let's cut it up and see what it looks like inside because I'm curious myself. This is my second time making a sous vide um, steak. And as you can see, those fat are kind of still rendering in there, but it's going to be delicious when we take it out later. Um, so let's, let's slice this up. Take a look. Oh yeah. Look at that. So this is definitely medium rare, okay, at 129 degrees for about um, one hour and 30 minutes. This is what it looks like. Let's do a taste. Mmm. Very, very flavorful. And um, those initial herbs that uh, we put in there in the bag all got us absorbed into the meat. And then when we do the final seasoning with just a little pepper and salt, it's, uh, it's perfection. So if you guys are interested in making restaurant quality steak, uh, I would say sous vide is definitely the way to go because it's the easiest way and uh, it's guaranteed results. Hi guys, so uh, here we have a whole piece of this uh, beef chop roast that we cooked overnight using the sous vide method at uh, 135 Fahrenheit for 24 hours. So this piece has been uh, resting for about 15 minutes and we are ready to sear it uh, in a sizzling hot has an iron uh, pot uh, with a drizzle of oil for one minute per each side. So let's go. all seared let's cut it up wow let's get a taste test mm. oh my god <laughs> so tender wow it's tender and flavorful it was prepared by dry rubbing some just just, just some salt and uh, yeah. herbs this is amazing and it's cheapest meat that you can get. Gets almost ribeye taste. Mm. Get them closer to the camera here. All right. Look at the meat. It's like the fat is also really nicely rendered. Yeah. So it's like tastes really good in your mouth. This is awesome. Yeah. Wow. The texture is unbeatable. I'm impressed. Yeah. Oh my God. This looks so good. All you need is a, uh, you know, 24 hours and some uh, basic uh, rubbing and you get this really beautiful results. Yeah, 135. That's a temperature for the perfect shoulder roast. Beef chuck roast. Yeah, also called chuck roast. And this is absolutely gorgeous, delicious as well. Look at that. Just can't beat this for the simplicity and the price.